This video is on western hemlock, Suga heterophylla. Heterophylla means variously leaved. This species is in the Pinaceae family, the pine family, and the cone scale shape is flat. So this is a very important commercial species in the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rocky Mountains. You can see a range map right there. So this is where this species lives along the Pacific coast there in the Northwest, and also some in the Northern Rockies there more inland. So this is a very important timber species. It's used, or wood's very commercially valuable. It's grown in plantations, used for lumber, plywood, especially pulpwood. So we're only gonna teach this species by cone because we do not have any Western hemlocks here on campus or really anywhere around here. Um, so to tell this species apart from our other hemlocks, first of all, this is a very small cone. So here's Eastern hemlock on the right to compare to our Western hemlock. So it's pretty small cone like Eastern hemlock is. But you'll notice how these scales of the cone are kind of broader. And again, they kind of flex backwards, similar to our Carolina hemlock. So here's our Carolina hemlock for comparison. So we've got our Carolina on the right, our Western in the middle, and our Eastern here on the left. So it's kind of intermediate between those two. It's more similar in size to the Eastern hemlock, but its shape looks more like Carolina hemlock. So here's that Carolina hemlock with those big, reflexed broad scales and our western hemlock does a similar shape those reflex scales but they're smaller in size and then our eastern hemlocks is very small um, tightly overlapping scales here on the left so that's a big way to tell this species apart from those other two just look at that size of the cone closer to eastern in size but the form more resembles that carolina hemlock and if we give you this species on a quiz, we're always going to tell you where it came from. So that's an important thing to remember. If we give you just a fruit on the quiz, especially a Western species, we're going to tell you where it came from. So if I say, I was walking through the Washington uh, temperate rainforest and I saw this cone and I gave you a picture of it and I said, what is this? Obviously you would know it's out of range for Eastern and Carolina hemlock. So it has to be the Western hemlock. So that's another thing to keep in mind is memorize those range maps for those Western species because the other two are not options out there, so it must be Western Hemlock. So that's it for this one.